of access at the minute, high water as you can see. So the rig we're using today is, I think this is a 7 ounce lid, this is 190. Alright, we've got a clip there, so we don't, so the spur on this doesn't snap this off. Alright, so we put a clip on. This is, uh, I think, 70 pound shock leader. Okay. And then we've got um, just some size 2 Aberdeens on some, I think this is 25 pound amnesia. And the Sentry Supermatch can cast, uh, what can it cast? Uh, 125 to 200 grams. In a bait. Let's get it out there. New bait left. Bloody crabs pinching it. Son of a bitch. Good. Gram lead there. I've just got it tied on to a size four. That's it. Grapnel lead. Simple as. So these, this rod, these rods cast um, 125 to 225 grams. Usually some fish here on this spot. Just fishing one rod at the minute, just sort of sussing out. See what, how much weed's there and... Well, I don't usually fish the end. only certain parts I'm interested of, of the end, this is the bottom part I'm interested in. bait we're using. It's lug worms look. Nice lug. There's a few rag in here as well somewhere. Nice lug worm. We've got our first fish to show you. We've got a whiting. Got a whiting look, and I've got a foul hooked, foul hooked on the wires, a weaver fish. Look at that little brute. Sever. Oh, I've got to watch, his, watch these spikes look. In fact, I'm gonna pick him up. Hang on. Another fish. No, I don't know. That's a quite deep. I think it's a flounder. But then again, looking at all them spots. Now, is that a place or is that a, is that a flounder? All these orange spots. Look. That's probably a flounder. But I don't know. I don't know. Those orange spots are pretty prominent, aren't they? I say flounders have orange spots as well, but yeah, good start, good start. It's on the last two casts, so 
I didn't see a bite, but feels like we've got some weed or something. Bloody crab, which I might keep for bait, actually. Might keep you for bait. Had a whiting, flounder. Let me tell you if you've got something on because there's a bit of resistance on the retrieve. We have another one. Now I don't know whether they are place or flounder. I think it's a flounder, probably. It's off. It's off. Let's put him back. Back she goes. He's okay. have a bass. Not a biggie, but a bass nonetheless. Mm. Corner of his mouth. Let's go. Beautiful. There he goes. The tree. I think there's a bloke standing on the top of it on that biplane. <laughs> Excellent. We have another fish. Tiny little. Tiny little um, flounder. Well, let me have his bloody hook back. Probably a little one that. Little flounders. That would actually be quite a good live bait. But this is lucky day. And that is a big bloody flounder. That's probably my biggest flounder ever, that. And the size of him. <laughs> they say it's a flounder. It's got a few orange spots, but they say that flounders do have them. That has got to be my biggest flounder. That is fucking huge. Absolutely huge. It's gone. That is a huge one. Uh, getting near the bottom of the tide. About another, I reckon about another 15, 20 minutes. So we've got whole crab fished about, I don't know, 50 yards off that groin there. Okay. Uh, so we're just giving that a go. Saving on a bit of my bait as well. 
on the, on the furthest rod, the, um, the big spool rod, whacking that out as far as we can with lugworm. No, I think that is definitely a place. Cool. Big, big bloody flounders um, nicking the bait. Oh, I don't know if that's a place or not, mate. That looks like it could be a bloody place. I don't know if that's a place or a. Um, He's always had it anyway. Tiniest. Tiniest little bass. Better put him back. Nice um, flounder this one. Look at that. Ooh, nice one. Let's get this one out. Size uh, four. This is. It is. Size four. Yeah. Then he goes. Away he goes. Right, so we just check that the rod tip's not tangled around the top. So it's, we want to wind round about, I don't know, five or six times. Three quarters of the way down. Mad magnets are on fairly hard. Break it off and let's just, what's the other one doing? Um, the other one's over there, so we'll just, we'll just plonk it out. Plonk it out and see if there's anything out in the middle. Just there's plenty of flatfish here. And that is well, we know what that is, don't we? That's a flounder. That's a flounder. So let's just lower him down a bit. I don't know why I got that high. 